The weather pattern is changing once again right as we approach the start of December, but the next couple of weeks may not be quite what you would expect for the start of meteorological winter. We can really see the change happening, especially when looking at the actual temperatures this morning. It's surprisingly mild across Ireland and the UK compared to much of the Iberian Peninsula. Just take Madrid as an example. It was around 1 degree Celsius early this morning while Dublin was at 14 degrees. Then from France and the Benelux into Central and Northern Europe, many places were hovering right around the freezing mark, but if you look far enough east, Kyiv, Ukraine was significantly warmer with temperatures around 10 degrees, Bucharest, Romania around 7, and mid to upper teens down in Istanbul and Athens. The temperature anomaly graphic as of today reveals that many places from North Africa and Iberia all the way up to Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Iceland are experiencing temperatures at least slightly below the average, but for Ireland and the UK, that air mass in place is warmer than average, and it's all because of a deep area of low pressure making its way in from the south and west. I'll talk more about that in a moment, but look at the Balkan Peninsula all the way to Russia. This is a massive area experiencing warmer than average air, and as you'll see throughout this video, this is one aspect of the pattern that likely will not change anytime soon. As this deep low moves between Iceland and the UK today, it should strengthen a bit more before a gradual weakening begins tonight. It's quite a broad system, so even though the center won't hit Iceland or the UK directly, look out for gusty winds, persistent rainfall, and large waves across Scotland in particular. Eventually precipitation will make its way across Scandinavia, and some of this will inevitably switch to snow, especially further north and east. All in all, this isn't a blockbuster storm system. I would consider it a pretty average late autumn system for Northern Europe, but here's something that I do think is gonna be a bit more impactful. Recently, we've seen lots of heavy rainfall in parts of the Mediterranean as cold air masses have clashed with the warm sea surface temperatures. As of today, widespread instability is immediately obvious, with a plethora of cumulonimbus developing over a vast part of the Mediterranean. This is all due to an expansive upper-level cutoff load descending over the region. As this disturbance slides east in the coming days, we will have to watch for a continuing risk of flash flooding across the southern Balkan countries, especially Greece, and then for western and southern Turkey and Cyprus extending back into Bulgaria and Romania from late Friday into Saturday, lingering downpour storms and high elevation snow will then persist around the Black Sea region through Sunday and Monday. So those are a couple of the primary weather events I'm watching within the next few days. Now we can look at how this all fits together and then leads into December. Here's the wide view of Europe, deep area of low pressure coming in between Iceland and the UK, large upper level low in the Mediterranean, and an expansive area of high pressure between those systems extending from Iberia into Russia. If you look closely, this graphic actually shows the temperatures as well. Take note of the blue hues indicating colder air under the high pressure, with some more yellow and orange shades indicating warmer air out ahead of that deep Atlantic low and upper level disturbance. As that low continues pushing into Europe in the coming days, it's going to be transporting much milder Atlantic air deeper into northern Europe, but this is going to be temporary because once this moves east and weakens, a colder air mass will descend from Greenland and Iceland behind this next developing system, arriving in Ireland and the UK over the weekend. That should bring some rain and high elevation snow as far south as Spain and France, but this won't be a very significant cold wave at all. Even while it does bring some snow into Scandinavia by December 1st, look at this tremendous mess coming off the Atlantic. This will not only deliver more widespread rain and gusty winds into western and northern Europe, but it's bringing in more mild Atlantic air. So for basically anywhere outside of the Nordic countries, widespread snowfall is generally not expected. The next thing to watch for is the interaction with the warm Mediterranean waters and the potential for flash flooding, and of course more Atlantic lows moving in with rain, wind, some high elevation snow, and large waves. Here are the possible rainfall totals through next Friday, December 5th. That active pattern cutting across the North Atlantic is quite obvious with Iceland, Norway, Ireland, the UK, northwestern Spain, and northern Portugal likely seeing the highest rainfall amounts in this time frame. Most of the Mediterranean region should also see quite a bit of rain between the upper level low moving through right now and with more disturbances arriving next week. Generally, less precipitation is expected further inland since these Atlantic lows tend to weaken with eastward progression, and that's not to mention that monster anticyclone over Russia cutting into eastern and central Europe as well, so that just lowers the possibility of rain and snow even more. Now for the snow totals between today and Sunday. Heavy snow is likely in the Nordic countries, especially along the Norwegian mountains and southern Iceland, and for almost everywhere else, snow is confined to higher elevations. 
That's going to be all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, even if you may not be happy with the expected weather in the next couple of weeks. The pattern will be changing again before we know it, so you're definitely going to want to subscribe if you haven't already, so you can stay updated on the latest developments, and remember to follow me on Instagram and X for even more weather information. Now to conclude, please enjoy today's featured media slideshow.